Ahead of the 2023 general election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has presented a list of registered voters in 2021 to the 18 political parties in the country. INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Festa Zokoye, says the move was part of implementation of the timetable and schedule of activities for the forthcoming general election released last weekend. Mr. Koye says the second activity is the collection of forms EC9 and EC9A to E by political parties for issuance to candidates who emerge from their party primaries. He added that parties uh, should download the form from the Commission's website. Right, uh, for more on this, let's bring in a rise direct. <laughs> A rise analyst, uh, Mahmoud Jega. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on Newsnight tonight. Well, let's talk about this meeting between the APC governors, 11 of them with the president before uh, he departed for Kenya. Well, President Buhari is insisting that uh, Senator Abdullahi Adamu will be the next chairman of the uh, party, in spite of attempts by governors to. Uh, you know, get him to change his mind. They prefer a situation where it's laid, you know, the field is open uh, for all contenders. What do you make of this? I mean, uh, is this uh, consensus? <laughs> is it uh, imposition or well, what? Uh, you know, sometimes you don't know what to believe. Although it has been reported since last week that the president told the governors that uh, Senator Abdullah Adamu is his preferred candidate to be the party chairman. Now, Senator Abdullah Adamu is a very formidable politician, highly experienced. In fact, I doubt if there is anyone on the political scene now that is more experienced than him. Because this man was a state party chairman in the Second Republic, you know, in the old Plateau State. Then he was a minister in the military regimes, and he was a governor, and he has been a three-term senator. So it's very difficult to match that kind of uh, experience. But the presidency denied last week right. the stories that the president yeah. is actually insisting on him. And if the reports are correct, uh, probably what the governors are saying uh, makes sense. Because uh, in the name of consensus, you know, you, you can only convince other candidates to withdraw. You can't force them. If you say this is going to be the only candidate mm -hmm. uh, and others are forced out, then honestly you would have created uh, problems in the party because many of these p candidates they are also very well what qualified. What kind of problems do you foresee? Very well, quickly. you know, politicians don't take uh, matters like that uh, very lightly. And if they are very aggrieved, and some of them have substantial support within the party in various zones and in their states. So all kinds of things can happen, and they may make the convention very uh, difficult or subsequently make the primaries very difficult, or some of them may even walk out of the party. You know? So you don't think it's a done deal because the president says so? You, s you foresee a strong resistance to this particular consensus candidate? Well, according to the report, uh, apparently, and the fact that the APC governors have been meeting almost non-stop mm -hmm. for the last two weeks uh, really indicates that something is amiss because they go and see president, go and meet, come back after two days, meet with him. And then so it does indicate something is amiss. But you see, APC has laid this tradition in 2018 when they last chose their elected chairman. Virtually it was President Buhari who chose Adams or Shimole who had just left the governorship of, uh, uh, of Edo, Edo State. State. Mm. Uh, he endorsed him. And I think no one contested against him. He was returned. Uh, but On this time, because the convention thing dragged on for long and uh, there was no clear adoption of the zoning formula. Many people jumped into the field, you know, you see there are posters and there are huge billboards everywhere. So, you see, if you allow that kind of situation and then you come at the last minute and say, uh, it is this one, this one yeah. should stop, that's when you have problems. I think that's what is happening now. Hmm. Mm. I wonder what lies ahead then. Uh, the, the days, you know, coming well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, unveil it. But let's talk about the Southeast governors. Uh, they're also complaining. Mm. They say they'd rather have, um, you know, uh, the position of national secretary mm. go to the Southeast uh, instead of the Southwest. Oh. Uh, and I wonder why, because they're all, you know, uh, calling for um, presidential 
candidates to go to the <laughs> southeast. <laughs> well, uh, are the, they playing the, Oliver Twist? Well, you see, uh, like we had the chairmanship was zoned to the north. Uh, maybe later on they said micro zoned to the north central, but generally to the north. Mm. The secretary general is the most important position after the chairman. Uh, obviously, so everybody was there. I think the way probably the southeastern APC leaders are seeing it is that uh, if APC zones the presidential ticket to the south, most likely it will go to the southwest. Uh, not only because the major aspirants now are from the southwest, but also because that mm. is the part of the south where APC is strongest. Mm. So they think if you give them the the, the secretary. Uh, most probably in addition to the presidential <laughs> candidate, then what is there for us? So let's at least grab the secretary and uh, hold it. Although they will still make, some aspirants from the southeast will still make a bid for the ticket, but yeah. uh, yeah. possibly they may not be as strong as the southwestern candidates. Okay, mm -hmm. another issue that came up at this meeting with the president was the issue of, or the question posed to uh, the, the chairman of the governor's uh, forum for the APC there was the issue of the date mm. for the convention. Mm. We know this has been moved to March 26th, mm, yeah. and they're saying that is now sacrosanct. Mm. But with the release of the election timetable mm. by INEC, yeah. what do you foresee playing out here? Uh, will the APC be holding its convention and its primary simultaneously, and what does that portend for them? Mm. Well, for now, they are saying that the convention would be on March 26th, mm -hmm. and according to the election timetable, the party primaries will be anywhere between early April and uh, June. So if indeed they are going to hold a convention in, on March 26, then they cannot have the primaries that time. In fact, they can't because they have not announced. Uh, but uh, you know that's why some people are saying that there are moves within the party to shift the convention again because the, the primaries is likely to follow within two months of the convention. So yeah. some people mm. are likely to say, look, why don't you wait and have them together but any attempt probably to postpone the convention now will again lead to speculation that it is some people who are maneuvering and doing this and that maybe that's why they are saying the date is across and um, the the point was also made that may malabuni i uh, was absent at that meeting is it indicative of anything uh, at all and still on the issue of the national chairmanship going to the north central mm -hmm. if uh, President Buhari has his way. Mm. Does it give an idea of what, where the presidential candidate may come from? Very briefly. Well, uh, okay, well, if it is said that the party zoned the chairmanship to the north generally before it later on micro uh, zoned it to the north central, then the indications are that the presidential ticket is going to come from the south. And uh, the probably the even better indication is that there are virtually no APC presidential candidates from the north uh, with mm. just a few weeks to the convention. I think that's the logic uh, from here. Thank All you right. so much, Mamou mm. Jagar, mm. Ajni's analyst, for sharing your thoughts with us tonight. Mm.